Hi, everybody. Hi, Tushar. Hi, welcome. Good afternoon. How are you guys? We are fine. Is Hi, teacher. Oh. Hi, how are you? Can you hear me? Well, uh, thank you guys for, for joining. This is uh, our class number 11. Let's begin. And uh, well, first I want to pass the attendance. Tell me, right? As soon as you listen to your names, uh, say present. Uh, Carlos Amaya. Present. Carlos Guardado. Daniel. Daniela. Deborah. Present. Eva. Gabriela. Present. Heidi. Present. Hey, Jacqueline. Present. Okay. Uh, Jennifer Hibar. Jennifer Torres. Present. Jocelyn. Present. Jonathan. Present. Jose. Present. Karen. Present. Linda. Present. Present. Lisa. Present. Margarita. Present. Mariana. Mariana, yeah, I can see you. Ida. Present. Hey, Melissa. Melissa. Sana. Present. Hey, John C. Present. Jennifer Arevalo. Present. And Jeremy. Present, teacher. Thank you. So I can see Daniel. Good afternoon, Daniel. Welcome. Good afternoon, teacher. Thank you. How are you today? Thank you. So, okay. Well, this is some of the class. Uh, thank you everybody for joining. This is our class number 11. Uh, let me display the, the presentation, right? Let's see if I have somebody else. Alguien más que se acaba de unir? Vamos a por un momento. Bueno, todo bien hasta el momento. Hemos avanzado con la plataforma, la sección 4, todos. Todo bien hasta el momento. No sé si hay preguntas, dudas. ¿Dudas, preguntas? ¿Todo bien? Todo bien, teacher. Eh, yo la terminé ahora. Eh, solo quería hacerle una pregunta, pero es más relacionada con la cuestión del, del uso no, 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 no. de una palabra. ¿Ya? Ajá. Es que yo estaba haciendo los ejercicios y, por ejemplo, eh, estaba poniendo uno que eh, era ya usando el, el ING para hacer mm. el presente. Ajá, que es de los yeah. últimos. 
en ese caso yo, yo tenía la duda porque esta, esta palabra que es la de la de, de o, o de para decir él entonces mi, mi pregunta es por qué eh, en el inglés a veces no se usa porque por ejemplo yo estaba poniendo un ejemplo que decía my mother eh, is, is doing eh, eh, dinner creo que era el ejemplo entonces a mí en español la lógica me dice eh, está haciendo la comida que le tengo que poner el G pero, pero no, 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 no era necesario entonces yo quisiera saber cuándo usamos el G eh, y cuándo no da es eso, ¿no? da el hard, da exactly, this is an article I mean this is called definite article definite article It is da, right? Da. And there's another one which is a, a zero article. So zero article is, you know, well, it means no article, right? No article. So we don't use article, right? Article. It, when do we use that? <clears throat> yeah. El da is for something specific. Specific, right? And no article in this case is general. General, right? So, in this case, when you say, right, my mother is making dinner, this is in general, right? We know that, you know, our mothers make, make dinner, right? They make dinner. So, it's in general. But if you say my mother is making the dinner, you know, that is something specific, right? Maybe, you know, you, you know that your mother right, makes uh, beans, eggs, bananas, etc., right? So that is a specific. Die and, 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 you know, and if you don't use, you know, the article in this case, mother is making dinner, my mother is making the deed, right? One is specific and the other one is general. That is a way. Let me give you another example. I will say, um, people uh, are using, let's say, are using um, smartphones, right? Smartphones. People are using smartphones. Right? People are using smartphones. This is in general, so I didn't use an article because this is general. People are using smartphones. You know that everybody, right, is using smartphones, buddy. But if you, uh, be, if you want to be more specific, right, and you refer to a group, let's say that we have a group, we talk about Yeah, let's say Jancy, uh, Jose, uh, Gabriela, Jonathan, you're right, uh, Lisa. So we have they five, right? We have a group. So we say uh, maybe the people, right, are using a smartphone. Right? But now this one is a, in, it's specific, sorry, it's specific because we're referring to some people, right? Jancy, Lisa, uh, Jose, Jonathan, and Gabriela. Only five people, so that is a specific. That is a way. That is a way. Okay. Thank yes. you. You're welcome. Yes, yes. Amazing. You know, let me give another example so I can I can be you know, more 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 this can be more clear, right? I mean it can be sort of clearer, clearer. Okay, we can say right. Dogs, dogs eh, are smart, right? Smart because you can get commands. And they, you know, they pay attention to you, right? They know what, what, what you're saying. So dogs are smart. This is in general, right? This is a general opinion, right? But if I say eh, a dog is, well, let's say cute, this is specific. Because I'm referring to a, a dog, right? A specific, uh, a, a specific dog. The dog is cute. That is, you know, a specific. But if I say dogs are smart, you know, I'm referring to all dogs, all dogs. Yes. Thank you. Zero, uh, you're welcome. Zero article, and here we have da. Dog. Dog. Yeah, the dog. Mm -hmm. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Uh, let me see. I can see Jennifer and Melissa. Hello, hello. Welcome. 
Who else is here? ¿Qué más está por acá? Veamos. Daniela, hello, hello, Daniela. Hello. Hi, thank you. How are you? I am fine. Awesome. Hi, teacher. Hi, thank you. How are you, Tamia? Are you okay? I hope so. I hope so. Hello, teacher. Well, uh, guys, please don't forget to use the cameras. I can see a lot of people that they have, you know, the cameras off. Please. Bueno, rapidito acá. Eh, ¿Alguna duda, alguna consulta con algún plataforma, sección 4, algún ejercicio, etc.? ¿Todo bien? No. Teacher. Yes. Dígame. Yo creo que es en el ejercicio 4.5, creo que es en el que no le entiendo muy bien. 4.6. Ajá, o 4.6. Ah, uh, this one? Eh, no, no es ese, pues es el otro, creo. 4.11. Que tiene que poner uno en unas partes. Ajá, ese. Ese. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, the instruction says, right? Instructions. Um, look at the pictures. Look at the pictures. And input the correct answer in blank. Some sentences will have a negative connotation and some positive connotation. For example, my name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too, or I am wearing high heels. Ejemplo, that is what I... Las instrucciones son que debemos de ver las, las fotos, las imágenes, y debemos ingresar nuestra respuesta, ¿verdad? la respuesta correcta en esos espacios que tenemos por ahí. Que algunas oraciones tienen, eh, para, deben ser negativas y otras afirmativas, dependiendo de la foto. No bueno, se nos olvide siempre de las instrucciones. Eh, el ejemplo, ¿verdad? my name is... Claire, I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. Or I am wearing high heels too. Se puede utilizar contracciones o no, ¿verdad? Entonces, acá, según las imágenes, con base en las imágenes, vamos a, a responder. Entonces, acá lo que vamos a hacer es completar, completar lo, lo que se nos pide, ¿verdad? Según la imagen, my name is Claire. Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. And we have this one, right? We need to configure. Y esa es la que tenemos, tenemos que completar. Entonces, acá, lo que debemos hacer siempre, recuerden, es, si vemos toda la, la oración, ¿verdad? La, la, la leemos, sabemos que algo hace falta. Entonces, eso que hace falta lo vamos a agregar. Esto lo vamos a agregar. Entonces, acá la respuesta sería, ¿cuál es la answer Look at the picture. Look at the picture, right? This is clear. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. Green suit. This is a green suit. And? I'm wearing a Yeah. Sobre el vestuario. Exactly. So you have to complete, right, the sentence. Exactly. About the clothes. And, you know, I am wearing, because you're missing the verb, I am wearing high heels too. This is what you need to do. Se debe de completar. Solo lo que hace falta. Acá puedo utilizar contracción, si no me equivoco, creo, se, creo que se la toma como buena. Uh -huh. eh, le tiene que dar acá, ¿verdad? Solo la apóstrofe y lo que sigue, ¿verdad? No, ya no es necesario utilizar el like porque ya está, el, el, está dado. Está acá al inicio. No es necesario ponerlo. Solamente poner la, el apóstrofe y la M, ¿verdad? Que es la contracción de I am. Es suficiente. O les recomiendo que pues, lo hagamos así, ¿verdad? Porque es inconveniente que tengamos con el, el ejercicio. Entonces, así debemos de completarlo con base en las imágenes. Eh, por lo general, ¿verdad? Solo tiene que completar verbo y... Verbo, verbi, perdón. Y el verbo en, en ING. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a ver ahora? ¿Qué es lo que tiene que ser? Sí, ser? Pero en la, en la... Bueno, ya está, también no, no está pasando. En Uy. donde dice e-training, dice, ¿está lloviendo? 
Eh, pero ahí tendría que decir, necesito un o como. No, I mean, you continue with the, you continue with the same structure, uh, Jeremy. I, you know, in affirmative or negative, it depends on the photo, right? And the, and the sentence. So I am wearing a high heels, for example, two, right? Or if it is negative, I am not wearing it. I am not wearing, a, for example, I am not wearing a, a raincoat. For example, a, this one, right? Number one, it's about this picture, right? About Claire, about Claire, right? So we can see that Claire is using just a suitcase, right? A suitcase, but he's trying to, to get a protection, right? Get a protection, so he doesn't have an umbrella or a raincoat, right? We can we cannot see an, a, a, an umbrella or a raincoat. So the answer for this one is explaining what I'm not wearing a raincoat. That is the answer. It's in negative because we have affirmative negative. Ah, bueno, gracias. Yes. Eh, todo es con base en las imágenes, ¿verdad? Y vamos a utilizar el present continuous. Y esa, esa, esa forma específica, porque estamos hablando de vestimenta, I am wearing or I am not wearing. Esa sería la primera respuesta de las la primeras dos, ¿verdad? Perdón. Sería solo I'm wearing like this and I'm not wearing. Aquí se complementa ¿verdad? con esto. En igual. Y recuerden no darle espacio. Si, si dan el espacio... Probablemente se lo tome como malo, aunque esté bueno. Son cositas del sistema que hay que tener cuidado, ¿verdad? No dar ese espacio al final. ¿Alguien más? ¿Preguntas? Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Eh, hello, Gagne and Eva. Thank you. Good job. Oh. Gracias. Thank you. How are you? How's it going? Okay. Yes, eh, Melissa, you're in my list. Thank you. No worries. Es en lista. Bueno, de hecho, todos están en lista. Solamente me falta Carlos Guardado. No sonido todavía. Bueno, vamos a seguir. Vamos a irnos con el tema. Y solo para recordar nuevamente con respecto a la plataforma, si hay alguna duda con algún ejercicio, háganmelo saber. No se preocupen. Para eso estamos acá, ¿verdad? Para ayudarles, facilitar los, los contenidos. Y por favor, si hay algo que no se ha comprendido, dígame. Y la, la invitación, ¿verdad? Siempre es para que podamos completar, ¿verdad? Las, la plata, la, en la plataforma, ¿verdad? La sección 4. Tenemos esta mañana antes de la clase, ¿verdad? Para completar la sección 4. Eh, espero que vayamos avanzando. Igual se va a estar ahí recordando para que ustedes puedan completar. Ok. No sé si hay más preguntas. Sí, teacher, es el último ejercicio. Which one? Which one? Sorry. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál ejercicio? Si me confirma que ejercicio, perdón. Eh, sobre 4.14. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm, ok. Uh, 4.14. Ok, it says instructions. Look at the image below and answer the questions with your answers. Vamos a observar nuevamente la imagen. De acá abajo, ¿verdad? Es de acá. Y tenemos eh, cada una de esas personas, ¿verdad? Eh, Beth, this is Beth, this is Nick. This is Anita, this is John, and this is Bruce. Right, we need to look at uh, these people and we need to, you know, pay attention to the actions, the actions, right? And then we have the questions. We need to listen to the questions, well, but the questions, and you need to answer with your answers. Vamos a observar la imagen. También las preguntas, pero vamos a hacerlas. Vamos a dar atención a las preguntas. 
con base en la pregunta vamos a responder. ¿verdad? Y eso no. Solamente sí o no, la respuesta es corta. Es lo que vamos a ver ahora. Por ejemplo, number one. It says, it's Bruce, sorry, it's Bruce, we're in a light green jacket. This is Bruce. Is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Yes, he is yes, or no, he, he is. isn't? Yes, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, this is what you need to do, right? You need to answer the question according to the picture. Vamos a responder la pregunta con base en la imagen. This is Bruce. This is Bruce. Okay. So is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. That is the way. With number two, let's 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 do one more. Right. Let, look at Nick. This is Nick. This is Nick. Okay, look at the clothes that he is wearing. And the question says, mm -hmm. is Nick wearing uh sunglasses? Yes, mm -hmm. he is, or no, he isn't. Mm. Some glasses. Yes. Yes. Yes, he is. Okay. Yes, he is. So the answer is no. Why? Why not? The answer is no. Why? Because those are. I mean, those are glasses, not sunglasses. So ah, glasses. Okay. Are the ones I use for uh you know this from sun right from the sun right you use you use them for protection. Yes, yes. Glasses, yeah. No, he okay. is. Okay. Thank you. You welcome. Es lo que tienen que hacer, verdad? Observar la 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 imagen, las personas, lo que están verdad utilizando, verdad, qué vestimenta, igual las acciones, verdad, que prestar atención y con base en eso vamos a responder sí o no. Sí o no. Eso vamos a ver ahorita, ¿verdad? Pressing continuous statements. That is the topic for today. Pressing continuous statements. Class number 11. Today is Wednesday, July 20th. Let's begin. When do we use the pressing continuous? The pressing continuous is used to talk about actions that are in progress or happening now, right? Right now, we are doing different actions, right? For example, in my case, in my case, right, listen to this. In my case, oops. in my case, I can say, right, I am delivering a class now. Well, this is an action in progress, right, because it is happening it is happening now i am delivering a class now right or i can say right i am teaching english i am teaching english uh, to you right now so those are actions that are happening now at the moment at the moment in your cases i can say right you are listening to the class you are listening to the class. Or I can say, but somebody maybe can, sorry, no, sorry, somebody is, I can say, right, taking notes. You are taking notes now, at the moment. You are taking notes in your notebooks, right? Your notebooks taking notes. You are listening to the class. I am delivering a class now, or I am teaching English to you guys, you are listening to the class. You are taking notes, right? Those are actions in progress or actions that are happening now. At this moment, at this moment, okay? That is the way. Any question? So far so good? Solo una pregunta. El presente continuo lo utilizaremos nada más para decir la acción que estamos haciendo en el momento. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. We use pressing okay. continuous. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, I am este, listening 
Eh, music. I am Así. listening to music. I am listening to music. I am listening to music. Yes. Ah, ok. Yeah. So music. Ajá. Music. Yes. Está bien. Yeah, that's, that is the way, yeah, okay. we use present continuous, right? To talk about actions that are in progress mm -hmm. or happening now, right? Let me give you some, you know, more ideas. Let's go with the, with the forms. Affirmative form first. This is the way, you know, we structured uh, the present continuous. This, this is the formula. Subject, the verb be. What is the verb be? Am or is. That is the verb be. Am or is. The verb, which is an ing. We have a verb, which is an ing form. And we have a complement. So I can say, I am talking right now. That's what I'm doing, right? I'm talking. I'm talking, right? Right now. I'm explaining. I'm explaining the depressing continues to you, right? So those are actions now, right? I can say, I am talking right now, right? This is the subject. This is the verb, I'm. I am, right? Remember, I am, he is, she is, it is, you are, we are, they are. That is the way, right? We use the verb be, as we saw in the previous class. Esa es la forma como asociamos, por tanto, el verb be eh, con los sujetos, ¿verdad? Como vimos en las clases anteriores, en las clases. Subject, verb be, am, eh, oops, the verb in ing, which is talking. Talking, right? The base form is talk. Talk. Talk, right? And we say talking in the present continuous. More there, the very 9G. 9G. Stop talking. I am talking right now. And right now, you know, it's a time expression. Yeah, right now, it's an expression, but the tiempo can denote that the present continuous. I'm explaining, right? I am explaining. Right now, I'm explaining, right? I'm explaining this topic to you. I'm explaining the present continuous. All of you. All of you. Right? I am explaining. Again, subject, verb, verb in ing, explain it, right? So the base form in this case is explain, and we use explain it. Explain, right? In ing. For example, you are listening to the class now, right? That's what you're doing, everybody. Everybody, right? You're listening to the class. You are listening to the class now. Now. Right? Again, subject, you. Verb be, now is are, right? We don't say you are. You say you are, remember? You are. The verb is an ing, listening. So the base form is listen, right? As you know. Listen, and we say listening in the present continuum. Listening, right? And so the class now is the complement. That's a complement. This is the affirmative way. Affirmative way. Okay, any questions? So far? Preguntas hasta acá? Somebody? Teacher. Yes. Todos los verbos llevan el ING en este, en present continuous. Yes, all of them, all of them. Yes, we need to use uh, the pre 9 g Jennifer, yeah. For example, this is a way, right? No, go, we say going. Play, we say playing. Work, we say working. Listen, listening, right? And we can continue, visit, visiting. Explain, explaining, right? Watch, watching. So according to the formula, <clears throat> According to the formula, the verb is always in base form, sorry, in ing, in ing form, okay? In the present continuous, in the present continuous. Yeah. Well, now, listen, I would like you to tell me, I would like you to give us uh, an example in the chat, please. Everybody, one example, I need you to mention 
an action that is happening now about you, your family members, your friends, etc. For example, I will say an activity that is happening now in my case, I would say my mom, my mom sorry, is a cooking, cooking now. That is happening now because, you know, I know that my mom is cooking, right? My mom, my mom is cooking now. That is an action that is happening now at this moment. Please give me an example in the chat. Just in, uh, you know, the present continuous affirmative, affirmative an action that is happening at this moment, please. Go ahead, everybody. Un example, un ejemplo, un ejemplo en el chat. De algo que está ocurriendo, alrededor de verdad, de áreas, sé de verdad incluso. I am studying English right now. Yes, that's a good example, Eva, but remember that the verb is in ing. The study is studying. Studying. So you have to say, Eva, I am studying English right now. Okay. Ahí donde le tenemos que agregar ing, lo que le decía la compañera. Yes, yes, we, we use uh, ah. ing in all the verbs. Yeah. Para que diga estudiando. Yo estoy estudiando inglés ahora. Yes, exactly. Ok, muy amable. Thank you. Thank you. Jonathan said, I'm learning English now. Yeah, exactly. Mayra said, my baby is sleeping. Mayra, my baby is sleeping. Mm -hmm. you, you're missing the verb. My baby is sleeping now. Um, es yes. Sleep es nada más el verbo, ¿verdad? Sleep, exactly, is the, the verb in base form. Those are the uh -huh. verbs that we use in simple present, right? Simple present. Ese es otro tiempo verbal, present continuous. We already saw the simple present, ¿verdad? Right? Simple present. Hoy mm. sí ya me quedo más claro. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Jose said, I am seeing my nephew um, playing with, with her car. Playing with a car, eh, Jose. I am seeing eh, my nephew uh, playing with his car. So with the car. With I'm studying English right now. Good, Karen. My brother is playing video games with Jennifer. My sister is working now. Yes. Thank you, Roxana. Daniel, my brother is eating now. Okay. Imaira. My brother is sleeping. Thanks, Daniela. Justin, my sister uh, is. Justin, my sister is reading. I miss her book. Is. You forgot the verb. Justin. My mom is cooking. Good, Gabriela. I am cooking lunch. Yes, that's nice. I am working in my home. Yeah, my uh, Carlos, I am watching a Google match. Yes. Excellent. So I can see that you fixed uh, the sentences. So say, and Joshua, thank you so much. Well, that is the present continuous and affirmative, right? We express actions that are happening at this moment, specifically. But we can see around us, but we can see that we are making. So we are doing by right, different actions and our family members right are doing all the actions 